Hi guys, this is Mrs. Hall, and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about how to start the actual doodle sketch um, after you do the worksheet and the planning. So I have pulled up on the screen um, two examples that people did um, in the past, and I can't remember what year, honestly, this was. Um, let me get you a little bit of a closer look at this. Um, so the one on the left and the one on the right um, were done very well. They changed their letters. They transformed it. Uh, the one on the left did a background. So you can do a background. You can draw outside of these letters if you want. And also the one on the right, um, they used a plain piece of paper to do their doodle versus using the template that was given. The person on the left decided to stick with the template that was given. And either way is totally fine with me. There's not, uh, there, it's not a wrong way to do that. Okay. I'm trying to, um, escape this. Here we go. All right. So moving on to the document camera. This is what the entry form looks like. Now, I know you're not going to submit this uh, to Google, but it's easier um, to at least start the sketch on this paper because it has the word Google on the bottom written very lightly. So what I usually encourage people to do, even if they're going to start just on a blank piece of printer paper, I usually encourage them to start on this paper. Now, if you don't want to, and you just want to draw it on a plain piece of paper, that's fine. But the dimensions need to be the same. So I believe, let me go ahead and measure this really fast. So it's obviously 11 inches long, and then it looks like it is five inches wide. So your project needs to be at least 11 by five. So I'm going to start with this worksheet, and I'm going to use my sketch worksheet to help me. So images that I could use in my drawing. So the first thing I wanted to do was an eye. So when I look at all of these, I have to figure out, well, where do I want to do the eye? And do I want to make it change the letters into something? Or do I want to do like an overall um, like project? So I think I had this idea just now of like, well, what if I put a giant eye around the word Google and then had like the word Google inside of the eye eh, and I don't like it anymore. So I'm going to do, how about one of these? I'm going to kind of like try to make it into an eye and it can go around like the back. It doesn't have to be totally within that space. So I'm trying to draw an eye out here and maybe I'm going to put like an eyelid can be surreal. It doesn't have to be like ultra realistic. Again, this is just a sketch. I'm figuring it out. I can put like a lower eyelid in there. Maybe I'll even add like some eyelashes and they would have to figure out like why in the world am I putting an eye in my, in my project? And I could even put like a teardrop because the thing with Sjogren's is that you don't produce tears because the disease destroys your tear gland there. Okay, so I could put some tears going on. I could fix this. You know, I don't want to leave it just like this. I would maybe color it in later. Okay. All right, so I got my eye. I was going to do a ribbon. Um, I was going to do a sort of like a pill. So maybe I can make one of these into maybe a pill bottle of some sort. Um, I also wanted to do a spinal cord. And so I was going to maybe make this L into a spinal cord. So in order to do that, I'm actually going to have to flip back to my screen. And I looked up a drawing of a spinal cord um, before I started this video. And so I would have to look at this and draw from it in order to get it <laughs> even like close to what I wanted. Now, drawing a spinal cord is going to take me a while. So if you're just doing a rough sketch on the Google form, you may not want to commit to something that intense on this area. But like, let's say that you are keeping the, the Google sketch and you're just doing the complete one on that form, then I would do it. So right now what I'm doing is I'll show you, I'm, it looks kind of ugly because I'm doing it really fast, but I'm trying to do like a quick sketch 
of a spinal cord and it looks a little bit like a snake because if you were drawing something like this, you better take a long time to make it look super accurate. So I'm just doing something really rough. Kind of looks like a, I don't know what it looks like. All right, so that's my spinal cord. Um, and then I was going to do um, on my worksheet, it says hands or arms. And so what I was thinking was like doing um, hands that were kind of like this, that were holding up the words. So I would have to look off the internet or I could take a picture of my hand and what it looked like. That is usually what I do if I can't see it. And then it's almost like I'm holding the word Google, okay? So there's a lot of options you can do with this. So let's pretend like I made it and it was holding the word Google and I had all of these transformed, just like the examples I showed you. Once you're done, you have to decide, okay, if you can see these dotted lines still and it doesn't look good, I would try to trace it on another paper. This is pretty thin, like I can even see through it. You could hold it up to the window and trace it too, um, and that's fine. Or you could just use this paper if it looks okay. In terms of sharpening it, I would only sharpie it if um, it's like wide enough. So for example, like on this spinal cord, I would probably use a black pen and try to go through and outline it with a black pen because it's just way too specific. So think about that. The one thing you need to remember with black pen is it will smear. So if you take your colored pencil and you color it and it smears, I'm sorry. Sharpie will not smear on you. So keep that in mind. All right. So once I am done, pretend I have this all done and I'm ready to color. I'm going to color it. Think about the background. Some of these uh, students that I had previously, let me see, um, colored the background and it looks good that way. So you may need to color the background also. If you have additional questions, feel free to ask me, um, or you can ask my substitute, and we are going to turn these in and then maybe have a contest. Thanks so much, guys.